Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you a technique that I just stumbled uh, upon. Uh, basically, it's making things look uh, vintagey, uh, making your own uh, ephemera. I hope I'm uh, pronouncing it uh, okay. So, I, it just happened, it wasn't <laughs> uh, planned. I done a few days ago uh, a page uh, with, uh, where I tore uh, a book uh, into uh, little pieces and done this page and of course I was left with uh, more uh, pieces and with me nothing is going to waste so I uh, glued them to a cardboard and from then on it just developed on itself so I'm going to show you the same thing I've done and what came out of it and so I have a book and of course this it helps when it's a uh, an old book that uh, uh, is already uh, with this uh, kind of uh, coloring and I've just taken pieces and glue them to my cardboard. Now, uh, this cardboard, uh, you will laugh, but this cardboard, uh, I'm always uh, getting it with the, the takeout pizza, and I'm <laughs> saving it and using it always for tags and whatnots. So here I have got uh, this cardboard. You can do it uh, the same thing on whatever. Uh, uh, surface uh, you have and want it doesn't have to be on something like that you can take 12 by 12 scrapbook paper which is plain or ugly <laughs> and do the same thing on uh, on it as you can see I'm just gluing down pieces the only thing is that I'm trying uh, to do is that the, the text won't be facing the same way I just like it this uh, like this so looking at me uh, watching me gluing all the pieces very boring next here we go that's what it looks like so after I've glued all these uh, pieces I had laying around pieces of napkin from the other page I've done yesterday and of course nothing goes to waste <laughs> So I took the piece of paper napkin and glued it, uh, no, before the paper napkin. I wasn't satisfied with the color, so I went in and I've got wood stain, a colonial maple this is, and uh, I've picked it up in the chip store. When I'm uh, referring to a chip store, I'm, uh, that's what we have here, uh, equivalent to Dollar Tree or a Poundland and uh, such so uh, I I've picked this in our cheap store and it was in the hardware aisle and I'm always using it uh, to stain uh, things I have tried a uh, coffee and I've tried a uh, tea and the problem with coffee is that the smell is too strong for me and it doesn't go away I even tried varnishing whatever I stained with coffee but the smell didn't go away and tea no matter how concentrated I tried it uh, to make it it wasn't uh, it wasn't strong enough in the sense of color that I wanted and then of course you have all kinds of um, there is a uh, acrylic inks that I really like but they are expensive we don't have it there uh, here I've picked them when I've bought them when I was in uh, London so I'm really trying to save them for <laughs> things that I uh, really can't do uh, any other way so this uh, wood wash uh, just saved the day and there are 
a lot of uh, shades I've also had maple and others it depends what kind of uh, color you like so now I've got this I'm gonna give it a little uh, blow with my heat tool so it will be dry and we'll continue I'm back so this is uh, now uh, dry and uh, now I want to glue down uh, the paper napkin on top of it and I'm just gonna cut approximately to size so it will be easier to work on it like so I'm always uh, taking uh, the two uh, white layers uh, before I'm uh, cutting anything so here we go just white glue covering everything with uh, with the glue like so very quickly I want to <laughs> to have enough time to show you all the options uh, to this uh, technique and what you can do with it here we go taking the napkin putting it down and going uh, on top with the glue make sure you are using soft brush and that you are using the flat side of the brush you want it to slide uh, on top of your uh, napkin and not drag it and tear it up as you can see I'm moving back and f uh, forward uh, on the same areas because I wanted to take in all the glue and as I'm doing it, it, it becomes transparent. I'm gonna, uh, here we go. I, I'll bring it closer to the camera. Here it's already transparent. Here we are, I didn't uh, go over it. It's not transparent. Uh, oh, uh, now it will be. <laughs> sometimes I get stuck with my words never mind you know what I mean here we go now it needs to dry now I'm moving it aside because I want to show you the difference uh, this one is without the stain stained wood uh, beneath the uh, napkin it's quite nice I, I like napkins on top of a uh, book paper but it's not the same I will show you another one with the same napkin here we go this is the same napkin underneath are pieces of the book that were left from in my other art journal page and then stained and then the napkin and look at the difference now here you see the same napkin here without the book and here I also went uh, and uh, with the cosmetic sponge went over the edges again so it will be a little bit darker than here now I'm thinking this is I really like this but I'm thinking uh, it also needs varnish and then it will be finished and you can do uh, bookmarks from it you can uh, do text from it you can do whatever you want with it it can be uh, th this can be the base for other stuff you can uh, uh, I can glue uh, butterflies add ribbons whatever you uh, you want use your imagination imagination and your creativity so I want to show you while this is uh, getting dry here 12 by 12 scrapbook paper very boring I can glue uh, pieces of uh, this, uh, pages from a book all around and then go in with a paper napkin. Let's take a paper napkin. 
just so you, you will see and most of the times paper napkins are just the size to fit the 12 by 12 like so of course you need to get uh, rid of the white layer but here we go and then imagine how many tags or bookmarks or whatever you want to do with it you can do you can also apply it on uh, and large envelopes and uh, make them into a cover of a journal so this is the uh, scrap of paper that I wanted to show you and more things this is just a wooden frame I've stained it also with uh, this wood stain and I really liked it and only went over the edges with a black ink pad I'm now considering also a brushing it with dry brush and uh, with bronze to add highlights to this frame which is going to go on and i don't want to know how to call it if it's an art journal or an album but i've made this i'm gonna show you in another video how to make something like this so it's not i haven't finished it uh, completely here i was i still need to do something for uh, the cover and i can also use one of the these uh, things that i've done as you can see here in the background pieces of the uh, book then staining and then the napkin so it's the options are endless what you can do with this so this is another thing that i've stained and i really like it moving it aside and here we go this that's where that uh, was done in the same technique i also tried the uh, wood stain on doilies and i think it's really nice how it came out here we go doilies and i've tried them on simple pages from a coloring book and these are there are always uh, pages in a coloring book that I don't like like I don't like a uh, I think it's cabbage rose uh, but it can be uh, great for ephemera ephemera yeah and I've stained it and I'm thinking that it needs either a, a coat of glue so it will look more either this or a water-based varnish I hope you can see what I've done and I hope you can see the difference that it makes so each one of this uh, should uh, probably get a coat of uh, varnish I'm moving all this aside I don't want this to stick <laughs> and i want to show you uh, another ones that i've done and how they look here is with another napkin another one it's not completely dry and here is another one and i think this oh and here is another one not completely dry yet when it's dry i will uh, trim around each one of these and maybe ink around the edges after that <laughs> i don't know i will probably make tags and bookmarks and i'll also uh, several of them will uh, get inside this uh, album uh, <laughs> journal whatever because it's all a uh, vintage uh, themed and i've got a lot of pockets uh, so I'll probably just take things like this one and stuff it like so. So this is what I've done. I hope you will try this technique. I think it's great. I really like uh, how it comes out and I can't stop making them. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll probably see it uh, in the future in other projects so 
And, oh, and another thing, uh, when you are looking for this, it doesn't have to be in a cheap store. It's not a, an expensive material. Uh, just check the shades of the stain. There are so many uh, wood stain. Just uh, buy whatever you like. Uh, if you like it more reddish or more uh, to sepia, just choose whatever you like. So this is it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting on my uh, videos. And bye uh, for now.